That is horrible. Hello, and welcome back to John Bull Outdoors. Today we have a radiator here that has a leak coming from this Ford F-150 1982. I've gone ahead and taken it out. So I'm gonna do the poor man's pressure test here. Just hold this up and put some water through there and see if I can find where the leaks are coming from. I think I only gotta hold this off and this off. Oh, there we go. Oh, I see it right what One here and one there. I wonder where that was coming from. I don't know where it's coming from the other side. Look at these fans. These fans are already... I can just bend this in with my finger. This appears to be a copper radiator. I think we can fix this with a little bit of uh, flux and solder and heat. I have never done that before on a uh, copper radiator. So we'll give that a try, see if it's worth saving or not. All right, so I've cleaned out some of the uh, the fins in here and uh, it's hard to see in here because the hole is uh, basically past this shadow on this almost like second rack down here. Um, so it's gonna be a real hard one to film, but I'm gonna see if I can repair that one. And then we still have another one we need to repair up there. Okay, so after looking at this some more, this is just completely rotten, this whole piece down here. Um, so that this whole fan just needs to be cut off and, and soldered at the joint in a sense yeah look at that it's just completely gone right there I'm wondering if I can just cut this whole fan off and just fill that in on either side let's give that a shot Fill that up with a little bit of solder. Put a little flux in there. This is gonna work. I'm probably gonna end up using some JB to weld, see if that works, but. I mean, the more I dig into this thing, it just keeps falling apart. It is just so brittle. Um, I mean, I guess this is designed to be brittle, but I feel like it's rotten. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna try some JB weld, but I might have to just order a new radiator. All right, it's the next day out here. Let's check on this. This was only one part. I know there's another piece we gotta fix over there, but I wanted to see if this is gonna hold right here. So let's give that the uh, water pressure test. And it's still leaking, oh my goodness. Didn't even hit the right area. I mean, I fixed the one fan, but... Oh my goodness, look at that. Wait. That's... I might have broken another fan just trying to... That is horrible. Oh, multiple spots. Multiple spots. I think I might have made it worse by pulling these fins out of here. It's probably really fragile and they probably just put some more holes in there. So I'm just gonna cut all these off and seal them up. I do think I made a good glue there. Uh, don't worry, my 
friend, he can make a glue. And... I don't think you're going to be able to glue that stuff back. I think you're going to have to pay for it. I should hold, but uh, now i got to fix all those other fins in there. Got this one over here. I'm also going to cut this here. going to dry this out. We'll give this one more shot. I mean, I'm going to give this one more shot, but every time I pour this out, a bunch of dirty water comes in here. So it's probably rusted all inside. This has not got very much longer to go. I probably just need to replace it. But uh, anyway, I just want to see if this will work. I can uh, use the JB Weld and, you know, I don't know, limp along for another few weeks with it, month, I don't know, maybe a year, we'll see. I'm gonna need a lot. All right, so let's give that a try. I'm pretty sure that this stuff is way stronger than the metal right now. It's just a matter of if it can keep a watertight seal or not. And uh, there's no other leaks in here. I feel like any bump on the road is going to like jolt a leak, create a new leak. I'm trying to push this into the crevice so that it'll form a nice tight seal on the inside. See if that gets everything fixed. I seriously doubt it. I'm really globbing it on here. All right, it's the next day out here. I'm not real confident in this, but uh, let's give it the water test again. All right, a little bit up here and a lot. Down there. Yeah, it's a lot coming off that backside right in there. Hmm. All right, I'm thinking I'm gonna just order a new one. I don't think this is repairable. Oh man, listen to all these cicadas. They're noisy this morning. All right, look what just came in. The new radiator. Let's measure this before I take it out of the box. All right, this should be about 31, I think. Yeah, it looks to be about that. There we go. Okay, let's test out this fit. Hopefully that will fit. Let me take this bracket off here. Okay. All right, this is slanted in just a little bit, which kind of pinches this hole a little bit. I don't really like that. This is going to be pinched in just a little bit too, right there. Look at that. It's going to restrict water flow a little bit. Might have to find some new hoses. It's just not um, quite as long as the original one. This is 31 inches and the other one was probably, what, 36 inches across here. You can see these come straight out this way instead of coming in. Um, but. Uh, I'm gonna stick with this. I mean, I could even I could even cut these off a little bit, maybe right at the edge there, and even this one here. Yeah, I could cut that off a little bit, and it wouldn't pinch as much. So I might end up doing that. This bracket is a little bit 
it ah, it's bent. See if we can fix that a little bit. That's better, I think. Missing the bracket on this side, uh, but it's gonna hit this anyway, so maybe I will zip tie it. Yeah, it might be just fine. Might be just fine. All right, let's put this on here and see how that works. Out. That fits well. Just a little bit of a kink. Right here. I don't know if that's going to affect much. This is a little bit wider, I think. Yeah, it's about a quarter of an inch wider. Well, it's going to be a little bit harder to get on there, but I think it'll go. Come on. That's not going anywhere. Okay, let's fill this back up. All right, let's start the engine and then we'll top it off. This engine hasn't been started in uh, probably six weeks. So uh, let's see how the battery is. Uh, still got some fuel in the filter here. Um, I, bet you it'll, I bet you it's gonna pop right off. Let's see. One pop, two pop. Just hold the water. Got a little bit more. Oh yeah, more than enough. All right, well there you have it guys. She doesn't fit perfectly, but it'll do. I think we're gonna call this one fixed. Thanks for watching guys. I left my tool in here, hold on. All right, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next one.